What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. It is another great day to have a great day. In today's video guys, we're going to be in Ocala. We're going to be in horse country. I actually like Ocala more and more as I make trips and make videos out there. I really like the city. Um, we have some good properties lined up for you guys today. We have some in the mid 200s to low 300s. I believe they're really good values. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'd like to thank the listing agents for allowing us to tour these homes to share them with you. We're also going to go check out a barbecue restaurant, which I'm super excited to present to you guys. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead. I'm going to grab my cowboy hat and we're going to go right out to Ocala. So let's go ahead and get started right now. All right, guys, so we have just arrived at the first property in today's videos. This one is here in Marion Oaks uh, subdivision here in Ocala, Florida. I'm excited to show you guys this property. Uh, I'll give you a quick look at the surrounding area here. Um, I absolutely love it because a lot of the homes are, are pretty spaced out for the most part. Um, they're not right on top of each other and uh, it has no HOA, no CDD, so we don't have to worry about any association fees or anything like that. But this home in particular is sitting on a 0.23 acre lot. It has three bedrooms, two full baths. Um, obviously it's a brand new home. It is 1,346 square feet of interior space. It's had a recent price reduction of $15,000. It was originally on the market for $279,000. Guys, it is now being offered for $264,000. So a little price reduction there, but this is perfect for somebody who may not have a big family, maybe only three people, four people max or so, um, and just looking for a house that is more on the affordable side of things where you know it doesn't have too many fees or anything like that brand new and uh, not too much risk. So anyways, uh, I want to get in and show you guys this property. I think it has a pretty good layout. Obviously, it's a, it's a much smaller home. It's only 1300 or so square feet. But again, I think it'd be good for somebody who is uh, looking for something that is a little bit more uh, on the affordable side of things and maybe does not need, you know, a whole bunch of square feet to live. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get inside. You have tile flooring all throughout. Uh, you see your kitchen right there. We go right into the living room space. I love the windows that it has here. And then also you have nice high ceilings, uh, neutral colors, sliding glass door, uh, which is just right there. We'll get to that shortly. It is a split floor plan as well, guys. So we have the th uh, three bedroom or the first two bedrooms, excuse me, on the right hand side. And then we have the primary suite, which will be on the left side of the home. So we'll get to that here in a moment. But uh, just right in front of me, we have the dining room area kitchen obviously and uh, let's go ahead and start the tour on the right hand side of the house and we'll go ahead and see the first two bedrooms and i also think you guys will like the backyard as well uh, plenty of space uh, for a pool or anything else that you want to do so you know you put a pool here i think it'd be a really really good home um, for somebody and uh, we'll look, take a quick look at the first full bath we have the granite countertop there, um, shower tub combo, and I love the tile, how they, how they bring it all the way up to the top of the wall there. And we'll go right into the second bedroom. And uh, these bedrooms are actually decent size, guys. Not too bad of size at all. And um, we'll finish this uh, second bedroom with uh, giving you guys a look at the closet. So. Anyways, let's go check out the kitchen, then we'll go to the backyard, then we'll go to the primary suite. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at this whole space uh, just from this angle that I'm in right now. So let's go ahead and go straight for the kitchen. Obviously this home's pretty small, um, not very big at all. So you can't expect too much when it comes to pantry space. That is what you're looking at. Probably need to go ahead and implement another way to store food if it was me. But um, there's a look, you got stainless steel appliances, granite countertops microwave oven i do like the kitchen though nice little kitchen has everything you need you got your dishwasher there um, nice uh, oversized sink and then you have the little uh, bar edge right there where you can put some bar stools and then overlook the uh, living room space uh, as well so i want to go ahead and show you guys the backyard i think you'll be quite impressed just because of 
the amount of opportunity you have and you know the potential it has to be a really nice backyard for somebody look you have no rear neighbors nothing but trees and peace and quiet um, so that's definitely something I'm into but uh, obviously you can put a nice size in-ground pool here if you want and um, then you'll see kind of where your property line ends where the end of the grass is right there so um, just a look at the uh, back side of the house uh, from this angle here but uh, good size backyard and it's pretty leveled for the most part as well which I think is a really really good feature so let's go ahead go to the opposite side show you guys the primary suite we do have the laundry room over here as well and the access to the two car garage so so look at the garage and then you have your water heater just right over there have your own um, laundry room space there's your uh, washer and dryer hookups there so I do think it's really nice that you have your own you know space to do laundry and uh, moving forward we'll go right into the primary suite good size bedroom I like the fan that they have there and then also the ceiling features and then we'll go right into the primary bath where we have the double sinks uh, same granite countertops uh, in the bathrooms as you have in the kitchen so look at the walk-in closet pretty nice size closet and then lastly guys we have the toilet and then also the walk-in shower and again i love the tile that they used and uh yeah overall i think it's a pretty solid home guys let me know what you think down in the comments below obviously you know it is a smaller home but you know some people don't need a whole bunch of space they just want something you know that has everything that they need and uh work with it from there so anyways let's go ahead and move on and get to the next property Alright guys, so we have made it to the second home in today's video and this property actually guys has four bedrooms It has three full baths. So I'm excited to show you guys this property and uh, the price is not too bad either It has 1811 square feet of interior space. No HOA, no CDD and uh, again guys 1811 square feet of interior space sitting on a 0.24 acre lot so pretty good sized backyard as you'll see um, as we continue in today's tour of this particular home it is currently on the market guys for three hundred and fourteen thousand dollars taxes on these kinds of properties guys they haven't been quite assessed yet but um, you can go ahead and just look at it as it'll be most likely around one percent of the purchase price so if it's you know three hundred and fourteen thousand times that by one percent and uh, you'll have a good estimate of what your property taxes should be. So anyway, let me go ahead and close the door and uh, get in here and check it out. So it has a pretty open floor plan for the most part. Um, it's a little dark in here, um, honestly. I wish this window here wasn't so small. Maybe if it just covered more space, it would let in uh, a lot of natural light. So that's something I, I would would have done a little bit differently there, but it does have a split floor plan. So the primary suite is right here. You have your second bedroom is just right there at the end. And then you have two other bedrooms that are on the right hand side of the house. So let's just go ahead and start here um, with the primary suite and um, go from there. So overall, I mean, the bedroom size is good. The bedroom size is good. And, um, you know, for $314,000, if you're somebody who is looking for a house that's over 1,800 square feet and, uh, you know, your budget is, you know, around the three, you know, 315 mark, 314 mark, um, this may be something to consider. So uh, here's a look at the walk-in closet as well. And um, then we have our double sinks with uh, granite countertops. And uh, no tub in this one, unfortunately, but you do have a pretty nice size uh, walk-in shower. So anyways, let's see what this is. I believe these are linen closets, but actually, no, 
I was wrong. That's where your toilet is. The linen closet is right here. Voila. Anyways, let's continue to move forward. I'm just gonna go right across uh, just because this should be the access to the, there we go, there's a light, two car garage, washer and dryer hookups, and then through this door here, we'll find the two car garage. There we go, good size garage. And um, we'll go ahead and continue on the left side of the house and check out bedroom number two. And then we have our second full bath just right there. But we'll go ahead and go into this next bedroom here. But yeah, this is the only thing I really wish was a little different is the, uh, the windows are just so small. Um, I'm somebody who likes light, but again, there's all personal preferences. Everybody likes different things, but yeah, I wish the window was a little bit bigger. They put another one like right here uh, around the same size, but that's the only thing I can see that I would, I would definitely like. And we have our second full bath right here, granite countertop, another walk-in shower. And um, then we have our sliding glass doors uh, just right here that lead out to the backyard. So let's just go ahead and check this out now, right? Um, under cover and ice space, not bad, not bad at all. And obviously guys, you got a really nice size backyard. Um, goes all the way to that tree line there and just comes all the way across. And then a good reference, the neighbor's fence right there is, is where the, uh, where it ends there as well. So plenty of room to put an in-ground pool if that's something you wanted to do in the future, uh, which is great because, uh, you know, it has that option. So um, good size backyard. Let's go ahead and close this sliding glass door and then head to the kitchen space. We have granite countertops, very small kitchen for the most part. Um, but you know, at 314, 315, it's, it's kind of hard to have all, you know, very high expectations, but this is, it's a really, really nice kitchen, obviously. It has everything you need, but it's a little tight. That's the only thing. Um, dishwasher, uh, sink, uh, refrigerator, and then we have the microwave oven. But uh, yeah, I mean, you have everything you need to, uh, you know, to hang out and live comfortably. It's just, you know, it's just a little tighter than what I was hoping for, but that's all. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and go into bedroom number three, just right here. And uh, not, not a bad size bedroom, pretty good size overall. There's a look at the closet and uh, we'll find our third full bath. Now this one does have a shower tub combo. So you do have a tub option um, also in this property. So not all of them are going to be stand up showers. So anyways, fourth and final bedroom. Again, good size, Let's circle back and show you guys the closet. But uh, overall, not a bad house, uh, especially, you know, you got four bedrooms, three full baths, good size backyard. So there's a lot of positives here. Um, and obviously you can't have everything, but anyways, guys, overall, not bad, not a bad value at all. Um, let's go ahead and uh, conclude this tour and let's go ahead and get some lunch. So guys, I am feeling like I want barbecue today. So I'm going to go hunt down some barbecue. I actually went online real quick before. Um, I actually came here, I found this really cool story. This guy was doing barbecue out of a food truck and he just opened up a storefront a couple weeks ago on uh, July 4th and he has really good reviews. So I'm super excited to try his food. Let's actually get in there now. It's called Big Lee's Barbecue. So uh, I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. So let's go ahead, get inside and, uh, and check it out. Shed, where did you get started uh, with, with your business? So uh, we started here in Ocala uh, back in 2014. Today's actually our, our nine year anniversary. July 12th of 2014 was our very first day of, of business, so. Do you believe you have the best barbecue in Ocala? Oh man, do we have the best barbecue in Ocala? Well, I never like to pat myself on the back or you know praise myself. I just believe in putting hard work into it and we just kind of let the food and the results and the customers and whatever awards that come our way speak, you know, speak to that. You know, I never like to say I'm better than somebody else for barbecue. I know 
there's a lot of people in this town. There might be some guy in the backyard killing it right now, just like I was in 2013. Nobody knew about me. Mm -hmm. And I'm cooking the same bar you know, barbecue that I'm cooking right now. But I will say, you know, I've uh, been named as the Food Network's Master of Q in 2022. Food and Wine Magazine named this as the, one of the top 50 barbecue spots in America, the number one barbecue spot in Florida. We've literally won best barbecue uh, in Ocala for every, you know, every year for the past eight, seven, eight years now. So I never say that. I just let the the results and the work and the customers, you know, say whatever our food is for us. I just got my food here at Big Lee's Barbecue here in Ocala. I got mac and cheese, beans, and then also some chicken as well. So I hope you guys appreciate the owner's story. It's a really good story. Seems like a great guy. So if you guys are out here, um, he has great reviews. So I have very high expectations for this one. So let's go ahead. Let's get into this and try the food and uh, see what it tastes like. Jeez, guys, the chicken literally just falls right off the bone. Oh, God. I haven't even tried the beans yet. Let me just get right into the beans real quick. The chicken is cooked perfectly. It literally just falls right off the bone. The, uh, the skin is great. And uh, let me just see what's going on here with the beans here. Wow, this is perfect. Not too much sugar, because a lot of these beans sometimes are really sweet, which I do like them sweet, but sometimes they're like over sweetened. But these ones seem to be really well made. So beans, A plus, mac and cheese guys, really that's all that matters in life. I'm a huge mac and cheese guy. I can eat mac and cheese every single day. Look at me, just making a mess. But oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, yeah. Macaroni and cheese is, is amazing. Let me, I'm gonna have another bite. Wow. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the, uh, the website down in the description below. If you guys are in Ocala, make sure to come check out Big Lee's Barbecue. The food's amazing. You're not gonna regret it, trust me. Go check it out, support, uh, support these guys. They've, they've come a long way, so uh, great food, great value. Make sure you check them out, and let's jump right back into the third home. All right, folks, so we have made it to property number three here in today's video. I am excited to show you guys this property. It has a nice uh, big oak tree right in front. Now, say you guys are looking for something in around the 320s to 330 price point, looking for something a little bit more custom, a little bit more character. Um, this is a home I would show you here. It's currently on the market, guys, for $328,000. It actually recently had a $17,000 price reduction. Uh, it was originally on the market for 345, but obviously it's down to 328 um, right now today. Um, it has 1,742 square feet of interior space. I do like the front yard, nice big front yard. I want to give you guys a look at the uh, community here. It's a really nice community. You have a monthly HOA of $3.33 a month. So basically no HOA, uh, just to put it that way. But I do love the curb appeal, good size driveway. And then you're on a 0 0.35 acre lot. I think you guys are going to really enjoy the backyard and um, we'll get to that obviously shortly but again guys you have three bedrooms two full baths it is currently on the market guys for three hundred and twenty eight thousand dollars i do love the front of this house here you can put some chairs and uh, maybe some rocking chairs and just kind of relax a little bit out here um, front door is nice as well so let's go ahead get inside i've never been a huge fan of like blue but the outside of this color of this house actually doesn't look too bad at all I actually like it. So um, anyways, as we enter the home, open floor plan, really nice high ceilings. As you can see, we have the living space just right in front. You do have, um, you can see the kitchen just right there. And then behind that is the breakfast nook. It is a split floor plan as well, guys. So we do have the primary suite on the left side of the house. And then we have the first two bedrooms here, just right on the right hand side of the house. So. Let's go ahead and start on the right-hand side of the home. We do have a pocket door here, which is actually a really good idea. Kind of makes it more private, which I do like. But uh, let's go ahead and check out bedroom number one. 
and for 1700 or so square feet this is a really really good size bedroom guys so i hope you can see the size of this bedroom and get a good picture of it just uh through the video but uh it is a really good size bedroom so you got carpet in the bedrooms tile flooring all throughout and then we have our first full bath right here we got granite countertops i do like the way that they did this with the window right there uh, give you some natural light you got the toilet just hiding right back there and then we have the shower tub combo not a huge fan of that tile but you know that can always be changed and stuff like that so um you know that's no big deal really at all but uh, that's just a personal preference but uh, anyways i do like you have two windows just right on the edge right here uh which i think are nice and then again guys good 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 size bedroom um bedroom number two and then the closets are about the same as uh, bedroom number one so moving forward let's go ahead and just go to this little area here give you guys another look at the living room space which i'll get to here shortly nice big windows all throughout so uh let's just continue to go this way we have the primary suite here the access to the kitchen just right here to the right but uh, let's just go to the left first and i'll show you guys the uh, washer and dryer area along with the garage access so there's a look at the two car garage and uh just right across from that boom look at this beautiful kitchen i do love the white wood cabinets i love the granite countertops as well you got your dishwasher sink and then uh breakfast nook just right in front with all these windows creating so much light and then just right across more cabinet and counter space along with the microwave and oven i do love this like area right here that they did really really looks nice i really really like that um so let's go ahead and uh, check out the primary suite and then lastly guys i'm going to show you guys the backyard which i think you will really enjoy so make sure to uh stay tuned until the end and if you haven't already please make sure to give this video a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it but uh, continuing good size primary suite here's a look at the walk-in closet and then uh, just right next to it we'll find the primary bath uh, just right here so we got the double sinks again with the granite countertop and then uh, we have the toilet uh, no soaker tub unfortunately just a walk-in shower so other than that i do like this layout especially you know for 328 or so i mean not bad at all plus i believe they're going to contribute to some of your closing costs and stuff like that so um definitely not a bad value so um but i do love this though check this out so on the side i love the side lanai's obviously it's not as big as like a full lanai um but you know if this will do for you this will definitely be nice you can just screen it in right here and then check out the size of this backyard you guys um especially for this community which is close to the new Publix, um so you have grocery stores you have gas stations and um shopping and dining within you know minutes away which is great so anyways look at this so just to give you a reference of this size of this lot see that fence there if you just took that fence on the edge right there and just took it all the way across and met at that fence right there um and just connected the two neighbor fences that's how big the backyard is it's absolutely wonderful to have this big of a backyard then here's a look at the back side of the house so um yeah i think i showed you guys everything again please leave your comments below let me know what you think of these homes uh like i said i think that this one has you know a really some really good value to it and uh i think somebody will be really happy here so again guys thank you for watching and that will be it all right guys that will be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up it really helps my channel and i appreciate each and every one of you guys watching don't forget to subscribe and if you need any help with buying or selling a home here in Central Florida and or Tampa Bay, my email will be down in the description below and my team and I would be more than happy to assist you. So again, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and we'll see you guys in the next video.